with Shades of Black, my role, I'm the creator, executive producer, whatever language um, people use these days. But basically, um, it was my brainchild, and that's it. Shades of Black, the idea came about partly based off of different observations. The first element was the fact that we had very active and very vibrant student groups within the African and African American community. We had African Night, the Kappa Step Show, we had God's Harmony concerts and so forth. But the one thing was that we didn't have a show that kind of brought us all together as people of African descent. And Shades of Black was a showcase which I thought, you know, to me I thought like, you know, we could do something to, for the community, to show what black culture is, but at the same time begin to build community amongst ourselves because we we're a very vibrant gathering of people, but we never really, we were civil, but we never really hung out, we never kicked it, we never ate pizza together. And so it was, you know, the purpose of the show was kind of two, three, four. There were so many elements that inspired it, and some of it I got from, you know, was sit down. You know, when you're just having conversations with your friends and you're like, this would be cool. So. I decided to go with it and it Step happened. Up to the horizon, close your eyes, set your soul free, my child, let it fly, let it rise. And so why There's a backstory to the show, you know, with, you know, losing my mom to cancer. So this show kind of helped me. I lost her six days before the show in 2006. And this show was part of that thing that became part of my healing process, you know, because when you lose a parent and so forth, you know, you're told to move on. And I think the show kind of helped me you know, understand that, you know, things happen, but you kind of have to keep on doing what you're doing in life and just push forward. And so I think the show, that's part of the reason why it inspired me. It, 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 has, it has sentimental value, you know. Before it was just a show we did for fun, but as people, you know, begin to enjoy it, people begin to say, you know, when is Shades of Black next time? So you, you just feel like you want to do it. The first Shades of Black was on a Sunday. Um, we didn't have much of the lighting because all the lighting was in the um, Kiwi Dome because it was the weekend of the Lionel Hampton Jazz Festival and we had like maybe 300 and something people and I think at that point it was something that people were taking a peek in to kind of, you know, see what it was about. But as the event has grown in terms of the performers, who's performing, the size of the performance, the quality of the acts, I feel like the community has begun to, it's becoming a part of the culture, you know, it was an expression of culture. but. The Moscow poem, and I think one thing that makes this place unique to other, to your UWs or your Boise State, is that our universities have a community atmosphere, and so they really embrace things that they feel are credible. And I think it's begun to mean a lot to the community. I mean, a show five years running and still growing, I mean, is a is a good show. I mean, when you have people flying in from Alabama to come watch a black show in Idaho, I mean. It shows that you're doing something, not just as black students, but as a community with regards to advancing to diversity. When we are the answer. I can't begin to help you until I begin helping myself. Shades of Black Five, this year, I think it's a more, as a more organic feel, a more raw feel, because that's what we're trying to get. Shades of Black 2007 was, I mean, it was good, you know what I mean? And it, was, it had a high tech element. We had the videos, we had performances that were of a different feel, you know, it was like we were stretching the boundaries. So this year, we're trying to take it back to an organic feel, back to the core of what the show is about. And I feel like it'll always bring something surprising. I said Shades of Black is a showcase that gets some of its energy mainly from its politically incorrectness. And I hope it retains that because it has an intellectual political incorrectness, which I feel like people always come to Shades of Black and look at each other like if you're in the audience and you're like, can they say that on stage? You know, that, that's the type of thing I've always liked about Shades of Black because some of the things that happen on stage, people are going to be like, it catches people off guard. And I feel like this show is going to be one of those years. I mean, rehearsals ran smoothly, smoother than they've been in the past. People know what they're doing. So I'm excited. This year's theme is Genesis. And um, the whole concept of the theme was based off of the fact, you know, having been, I'm, you know, I'm done with my studies and, um, I have other friends, you know, who've graduated, who've gone on to other things, you know, some people are now doing music, some of them are not doing their law degrees, and we've all gone off in different directions, and looking at the world today, you know, and I'm not trying to be political, but part of it was looking at Barack Obama, you know, and to me, I thought, you know, 
his generation is contributing something. Martin Luther King generation contributed something. You had your Bob Marley, you had your Nelson Mandela's, and I thought to myself, what does our generation have to contribute as the next phase of that evolution of black advancement? And so Genesis seemed the right theme as, you know, as we're going out into the world, as the next generation, what are we bringing to the table? What can we define as our beginning, as our movement? And that's why Genesis, you know, seemed to be a theme that kind of seemed to encapsulate that philosophy.